So guys, if you leave your Wii Remote sitting down long enough, okay Mario, uh, Mario will eventually fall asleep sitting down, and then eventually he will lay back into the position he was in momentarily before jolting upright, I guess. I don't know, maybe I moved the Wii Remote a little too fast. What's up everybody, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we've almost finished off all of Good Egg Galaxy. Well, in this episode, we're going to be going back to finish the final mission and then heading on to the new galaxy. So, let's go ahead and take on that final mission straight away, straight into the action, guys. Here we go. So, this mission is King Caliente's Battle Fleet. And so, um, if you've played Super Mario Galaxy 2, you may remember Prince. Um, there's a uh, a boss battle and like a, uh, I can't remember, it's like, it's like Frostburn Galaxy or something. It's like Prince, like, I don't know, like, it's Prince something, but he's pr the presumed son of this boss. And, um, I guess eventually, I guess if we play through Super Mario Galaxy 2, wink wink, nudge nudge, it's gonna come someday, probably, more than likely. Um, we'll pretty much, uh, I'll probably bring that up again, but uh, I'm glad I thought I'd bring it up now, considering both games are already out. Uh, same thing with uh, Dino Piranha that back there. Um, he's considered the, uh, I guess, like the ancestor of the first boss of the game, and wow, apparently I cannot seem to pull that move off that I was pulling off earlier. And why are you being such a hassle, Mario? I don't understand. There we go. So we can pretty much skip this entire first island. There's no more point in staying here. It's going to be the same as usual. Instead, we can head over here. And, uh, well, if you look here, there's a toad? Ooh, you saved me! Thanks, Mario! In return, let me tell you a secret about this place. Apparently, those spiky things just hate coconuts. Shake your wobbly stick spin and smack them with those coconut coconuts. Alright, sure thing, toad. Um, I believe one of these, I believe it's actually that one right there, contains the launch star um, to get off this island. So we need to spin these things that way and wow, what a shot. Whoa. Alright, so now we're on here and I believe it's the same thing. No, actually this is a spiky and it's its only appearance I believe in Super Mario Galaxy and the Galaxy series as a whole. Now, I believe Galaxy 2 has an enemy called Spiky Heads or something like that. Yeah, once that happens, you simply just jump on him and then we'll get out of here. Yeah, so this world is fairly easy and uh, I actually want to go down here and yeah, those are um, Chain Chomp Heads. I'm not sure what their actual name is called. But, uh, yeah, they're undefeatable by any move in, uh, Mario's moveset at the moment. But if we pick this up, we turn in, transformed into Rainbow Mario, and we're invincible. So now we simply just run into enemies, and it will blow them up. Kind of like the star power-up in most mainstream Mario, uh, games, just normally. And, uh, we got a 1-up just perfectly. So we want to run out here real quick, and take these guys on. And, yeah, we should have plenty of time to take them out. And uh, now we can head on to this galaxy. Or not this galaxy, this planet, I guess. And you can't really cross over there. But uh, yeah, this place is pretty simple. You just jump over the electric little thingies there. It's not too difficult. And then we'll grab some more star bits. And we'll pass through here. And there's more um, Octo Goombas here that we can take out. And uh, of course there are bullet bills, and uh, yeah, the ones in this game specifically tend to be very cooling, like... Also, I'm not sure when, like, this series will start coming out, because I'm either recording it extremely in advance, like, before, and it's just come out after Breath of the Wild, or it's either going to come out during Breath of the Wild. Like, depending on when this comes out, you guys are going to be very confused if it comes out way later. Like, wow, this was supposed to come out, or this was planned to come out, like, during Breath of the Wild. Crazy, right? But, like, anyway, let's talk to this toad here that we've just saved. If your attacks won't reach those mean-looking aliens, but there's a great idea. But here's a great idea. What if you try to bounce something back at them? Sure thing. So they're going to spit coconuts, spin, and knock them. Okay, don't hit those things. Those things are, like, on fire. 
Anyway, we hit both at the same time and took them both out. Wow. Alright, I just need a coin. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, the rest of those are just coins up there that's not really too important. And we can pretty much just skip right on by. We'll take on this Octo Goombas for some extra star bits and we'll probably get a one up here as a result. And, wow. I just want your star bits and a one up. And okay, I lost that star bit. That's cool. And oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I just, yeah, let me hop on your head, please. To uh, take your coins and get back up to full health. We're gonna take our launch star here, and we'll head up to this island here. I'm not really sure what to call these. I guess they're planets, islands. I'm not sure. I'm gonna call this an island just because. All right. So if we launch up here, we'll see that there's an octopus in the uh, lava here. This is King Caliente. Watch with his crown and everything. Yeah, he's gonna shoot those out at you, and then he's gonna shoot out a. Coconut is gonna okay, hit his uh, thing there and wow, why would you shoot it over there? I'm not even looking in that direction. Alright, avoid those. And okay, apparently I touched his uh, te little tentacle there. And, okay, I missed. Wow. Alright, avoid those. Alright, shoot your thing at me. Come on, dude. And that's the first tip. This fight isn't too difficult, but I seem to be having trouble. Oh wow, we just ducked straight under that. So now he'll hit it back at you. You have to spin twice, and that time we have to crown off, and now we look angry. Alright, so pretty much just do that one more time, and he'll shot these uh, three. Uh, gosh, I can't remember the name of these guys. I think they're like freeze. Uh, I don't remember their names. Honestly, I really don't. Um, if I do, I will definitely bring them up later on because they do eventually appear later on as well and that's going to do it all for King Caliente. And with that, we're going to get another power star and the final power star of uh, Good Egg Galaxy. So with that, we can get this power star and get on out of here. That brings us up to four power stars. And wow, I already have 534. And please, I hope this doesn't, get, doesn't ask me to save my game every single time. Because that gets kind of annoying. Anyway, we unlocked a new galaxy. This is Honey High yeah. Galaxy. So let's just say we get straight on in. Alright, so the first epi um, episode... Um, the first mission is Be Mario Takes Flight. B. Honey Hive. Huh. I wonder what that could mean. And there's bees everywhere. Okay, some strange things could possibly be going on here. And yeah, as you're flying in, you can move your cursor around and try to, like, grab different things. First things first, of course, like, we'll probably grab some star bits while we're back here. And uh, I think this sounds going to say something about using your camera. Um, so if you want to change your camera view, you simply press right or left on the analog stick there. And as we see here, and also here, but mainly here, um, there's an M back behind us that we wouldn't see unless we turned our camera. And we'll get a couple extra star bits as a result. So this level is pretty straightforward and linear. Um, but uh, there is one thing that I do want to go. So we actually go back here and... No, okay, I messed that up. Having trouble with the controls for some reason, even though I've played this game like a million times. Alright, anyway, we're gonna hop up here, take out these guys here with a spin attack, and then grab, of course, these. And then I wanna hop into this pipe. Now, funny story, when I first came through here, I tried to time each of those, like, Red little ball thing, like time. Try to time it on each of those little ball things too, in order to like take them all out and get these star bits that are located inside. And then I got to the bottom here after doing that, and then grabbed this, had the invincibility star come out. And then I felt like an idiot. All right, but we gotta be really quick about this.
But I thought we weren't gonna have enough time then. At the end of the game gives you plenty of time though to collect them all. I think we missed a lot over here just because we were so busy like running trying to beat them all. Um, and yeah, I actually died here like just like before like, when I was practicing for this episode. Um, I did kind of like, yeah, I, I, I died. It was not very pleasant. Um, there is a way you can get up there like just by like going up to that cliff. I tried it when I was practicing and I couldn't seem to get it down. I used to be able to pull it off but it's just been like so long. Anyway, when you touch that question mark coin, a mushroom is going to appear that looks very similar to a, um, a bee. Anyway, you see these bugs here. Um, yeah, they're scared of Mario and they're taken out just like any other monster. You spin into them, it stuns them, and then you can jump on them for a coin or kick them for some star bits. But um, anyway, with that being said, wow, I can't believe you hit me. I thought I had a time right. And yeah, they kind of chuckle if they end up hitting you, which is kind of a neat trick. Anyway, this is B Mario, so we hold A to buzz around. So basically, this turns Mario into a giant B. Pretty much. Grab that coin, and uh, yeah, if you touch water, um, Mario's B suit will disappear and he'll go back to being regular Mario. So there's more of these bugs, but as you see, as soon as you B Mario, they become very attractive to you. And um, also, if they hit you, um, they will do damage. And also, you don't even have to hit those guys. Wow, I didn't even know that. You can just, like, go run away and then fall. Anyway, right behind here is a one up. And then we'll fall down the hole here, grab some star bits, and continue to make our way on with the level. Alright, so we'll grab our bee suit again to get up this wall, and I didn't want to talk to you. The castle is part of this wall, bees never lie, something like that. Sure, I don't really care, buddy. Alright, so flowers here. If you're regular Mario, not that you could get up here as regular Mario. If you do, congratulations, you're better at this game than I am. Um, you won't be able to send on these flowers. Also, the honey will slow your movement, so um, make sure you stand on like the ground, spin knock those guys out, and then we'll continue to oh, make our way. I didn't want to fall into that black hole. I haven't actually like fallen off or died on camera yet, and I kind of want to keep it that way. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we've landed on this lily pad here, and uh, those are another version of Octo Goombas. That, yeah, yeah. if you get hit as any kind of B-Mario or kind of thing like that, you're going to lose your power up. But that is no big deal because we do have a B-Mario suit here somewhere. Yeah, right over there. But I want to take all these guys out first just for like the extra star bits because, of course, star bits are useful. And uh, they'll be used a little bit later on once we get like a little bit later into the game and um, there are more things for us to collect. So... Come here, buddy. I'm just gonna take you out and take your star bits. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all enemies as well drop three star bits no matter what. And those things occasionally will drop like a star bit or, or a couple of star bits. And sometimes they don't even drop them at all. They'll just hit the ground and then they'll just disappear, which is kind of neat. Kind of keeps you from like farming them, I guess. Except for in Good Eye Galaxy, those seem to always drop. Apparently, that guy did not do damage to me by touching him, which is. Kind of strange, not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna do damage. Anyway, we'll grab our bee suit, and with our bee suit, we can now fling up these little flowers and then fly around with our uh, thing here. But anyway, be careful when you're flying through here because there's those water sprouts that will um, make you lose your bee suit. And of course, you can't step on the flowers as anything other than Bee Mario. Luckily, we are Bee Mario, and now uh, we'll actually make our way over here. I'm now looking off at the next island, like, beforehand, and then, like, actually, like... Ooh, what's this? Ooh, there's a vine here. I didn't see this before. What's this? Uh, just some, like, uh, collectibles, I guess. Take this, and it doesn't actually do anything for us. I think we literally just collect some coins, and yeah, that's the actual view of a black hole. And, uh, we're right back here. Yeah, he's gonna say one of these perks of being a bee is that we can stick to this honey wall. Yeah, it pretty much just gives you the hint that, like, hey, climb on the honey wall, and, uh, you'll be good to go. Guess we can come over here to grab the coin. Doesn't really matter, though. 
And, uh, you know, might as well go over here and grab this coin, too. These three coins, might as well. I mean, coins, I don't remember being too useful unless there's, like, certain missions you'll have to grab coins in in order to feed, like, one of those Lumas, like you saw the, uh, uh, the Starbit Lumas. Those, um, will be, uh, co those sometimes will be coin Lumas in which we'll have to feed a Luma so many coins, if I remember correctly. And yeah, you kill that guy, he turns into like a, uh, kind of a sprout kind of thing, and we can use him to spin up here, and, well, let's talk to this Queen Bee. And who might you be? A physician, we presume. No matter. We're in the most vexing predicament and require assistance. The most fierce itchness and plagues our entire being. It must be stopped. Please find the source at once. Alrighty then, so let's just fly over here and... Climb around her and you'll see her say, Yeah, that's the ticket. You kind of freaking me out already, lady. Not gonna lie. Alright, so basically, she's just got like star chips all over her, and then we'll ride around. And as soon as we grab all those, my thanks. You have shown much bravery, newbie. We trust that we may rely on you in the future. And with that, um, all of our duties on the Queen Bee are done, and the gravity will now go away. And uh, there's some star bits I want to grab, like right there, there, and whatnot. And I'm sorry if you guys have heard anything in the background of like last I think it's like a door or anything like that. But uh, yeah, people don't know how to be quiet. Anyway, let's uh, walk over here and look who it is. Ah, a bee! What, Mario? Hey, it's you! We escaped from Princess Peach's castle, too! But then we thought Bowser would get us, and we lost lost with Luigi. Oh, I just remembered. We found a Power Star Power Star. I'm sure you needed this. So here, take it! I love how he's like, ah, a bee! And then he's like, oh wait, no, it's just Mario. <laughs> Honestly, that was kind of funny. And the rest of them are just kind of here. He's like, glad to see you're okay. How are we even going to get back? And he's like, hello, Mario. And then he's like, yawn, and he's just sleeping. Wow. Yeah, you can fall, by the way, and if that's the case, you'll fall all the way back down to, like, the beginning of the stage, and you'll have to do, like, the whole thing over again, which is kind of depressing, not gonna lie. It can be quite the predicament. And, but anyway, we got the star B, Mario takes flight, and that's gonna bring our total up to five. And our star bit counter is now at 741, and... We've already discovered a new galaxy in the terrace. Sweet. Ma. Mario. Your name is Mario, isn't it? That is what I heard from your friends who just arrived. Mario, it is such a nice ring. Look. Your friends are waiting for you in the garage. And then they want to tell you something, so you best hurry on over there. And no, I don't want to save. Alrighty, so that's one of the few times we actually won't fly back into the terrace. So we should walk over here and talk to these guys. What do you have to say? Howdy, Mario. If you're looking for everybody, they're back this way. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's talk to you. Where are we? I want to go home. I'm so homesick. Wow, that's literally it. What's up? Captain Toad. Mario, see how he made it too. We'll help you get the Power Stars and save Princess Peach. You can count on us, Mario. We're all in this together. Yeah, so this guy eventually got his own game, of course. You know, Captain Toad and whatnot. Um, do all of you say something? Yeah, I guess you do. The Lumas are going to build us a spaceship. When it's done, it's going to... Let's go look for Princess Peach and the Power Star Power Stars. What kind of starship... What kind of starship will it be? I, I can't wait. Alright, do you have something to say? So I guess this place is some kind of mobile space station controlled by the Rosalina lady. But who exactly is she, anyway? She's not a witch, is she? Is she? No, that's ridiculous, right? Who is that Rosalina lady? Honestly, dude, I am not sure. Yeah, there's always a one up there when you spawn into the world, so that's pretty cool, I guess. And uh, that purple toad won't be there forever. Eventually, I believe he's going to move up here somewhere, and he's going to be used for something else. Pretty important, used in both Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. But anyway, guys, I think we've just about run out of time here. So in the next episode, we're going to continue on with the Terrace and uh, complete up Honey Hive Galaxy. And then we might have enough time to move on to the next galaxy as well. But that's going to do it all for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.